Well, it was a shock to so many of us this week when an autopsy report revealed that Olympic sprinter Tori Bowie died last month from a complication during childbirth. Bowie was just 32 years old, and the three-time Olympic medalist death is again shining a light on the high maternal mortality rate among black women. The CDC telling us that black women are three times more likely to die from pregnancy related to complications than white women. Dr. Yvonne Thornton, an OBGYN and specialist of maternal and fetal medicine, medicine joining me now to discuss. Doctor, so glad you're with us. You know, we saw this autopsy report, and it shows that Bowie was found dead in her home. She was around eight months pregnant at the time of her death, suffering from a possible complication or complications of respiratory distress and eclampsia. So how does this happen to a healthy person? I mean, an Olympic athlete. Well, thank you for the invitation, first of all. Uh, Preeclampsia or eclampsia is a disorder found only in humans. And the fact of the matter is, say, how does this happen? This disorder is a very insidious disorder. And that's why when women are pregnant, they need to have prenatal care. Because the only way to suspect it is through high blood pressure, which causes no pain, with through protein in your urine. You may have... Uh, concerns of swelling, but it only can be uh, suspected uh, when the physician, the obstetrician, the midwife, whoever is taking care of a pregnant woman sees these changes in the pregnancy. And the earliest thing is high blood pressure. And most hmm. women do not have access to a care provider. And those who don't, this is what happens, preeclampsia. It's been with us for, for generations. In fact, Hippocrates in the fifth uh, century BC was the first one to identify preeclampsia. And it's about 5% uh, of pregnant women. And it is a tragedy. And when you're so, talking about race, yes, mortality, eclampsia kills. So the concern is we have to be very, very careful about our pregnant women and just not say, well, she's pregnant, everything is fine because it's preeclampsia that can lead to eclampsia which unfortunately caused the demise of this uh, Olympic Olympian. So what is what is your advice then to to your patients, right? Whether, you know, they're an Olympic athlete, young, has the means, you know, for good care versus someone that may not be that lucky. What do you tell these women, especially black women, right, who are at a higher risk? What do they need to pay attention to or what do they need to monitor on a regular basis um, in order to prevent this? I mean, could it be as simple as having something at home to check your blood pressure or what are some pieces of advice you can tell us? Well, the pieces of advice are you need medical care. You need pre prenatal care. Unfortunately, seven million women in this country do not have, do not have maternal health care. So. Yes, there's nothing that a pregnant woman can do herself. She needs to be seen by a, uh, a, a, an obstetrician, a midwife, a person who is going to, to take care and put everything together uh, with her pregnancy. Because again, it is insidious. There's no pain, there's no bleeding. One thing you know that, uh, next thing you know that her blood pressure is 150 over 100, 160 over 100. And then she may seize, and that's eclampsia. So we try to prevent eclampsia, which is a higher risk of death, by dealing with preeclampsia. Protein in the urine, high blood pressure, edema. These are very soft signs that the average pregnant woman may not even know about. And that's why it's so important to have early prenatal care. And this what usually happens weathering? after 20 weeks. After 20 weeks, okay. Yes. What about weathering? You know, the process of women just being worn down by repeated exposure to stressors. Um, this is connected, right, to maternal mortality of black women well, also. The term weathering is uh, defined as the time period in which women usually are more fertile, in the 20s or 30s. Uh, and, and that's the age, weathering. You want to procreate, 20 or 30s. I'm not saying that in 20 or 30s that you don't have stress and that I'm not saying that women of color and black women don't have stress, white women too. And again, this shines the light on the increased maternal mortality uh, in black women. But 
we are embarrassed as a country, we should be, that we have a maternal mortality death ratio, 33 per 100,000 women. So when one says weathering, stress, it's not just stress, it's poverty, it's economics. Uh, it's a group of things. And all these come together in morbidities that increase the risk of maternal mortality. In the 1970s, we had a death rate for pregnant women of 21, and people were outraged. So wow. 15 years later, it fell down to nine per 100,000. So now we're, we're spouting numbers, but we should have uh, called the clarion call for alert uh, when it was 21. Now it's almost 33. Japan has five. UK has nine per 100,000. Why does America, the richest country on the globe, have 33 maternal right. deaths per 100,000? Point well made. That's why we need doctors like you and advocates like you, Dr. Yvonne well, Thornton. You. I know I, I appreciate and enjoyed our conversation. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.